Hey there guys, it's the Ramos Online here, and this is just going to be a really quick video, is what I said last time, and it ended up being 8 minutes long, showing you guys how I built my Litigant. This is the Litigant I used to basically sweep a team, as well as score me the win in another battle. Both of those videos went up today anyway, so you can go and check them out. Links in the description below, if you haven't seen them, go ahead and click them, watch them, and come back here. And we can get into the strategy and the build on this Litigant. Now, this Litigant is for singles. I do not have a doubles guide for Litigant. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend it for doubles, just because of how frail it is. It is a very frail Pokemon. Its base defenses are 70, 75, and 75. Now, if you really, really wanted, you could make this work as either a physical or special tank if you really wanted. I might even show how to do it in this video as we go over basically my strategy, and then we see if there's any other strategies we can fit into this video. So as you can see, let's start off with the ability. As you can see, I actually run the ability Own Tempo. Now, Lilligan's base speed is 90. Chlorophyll will boost that to, you know... You know Quite, it will boost it quite high, but I don't run Chlorophyll because I think she's kind of fast enough without it. She has Leaf Guard, Chlorophyll, and Own Tempo, which isn't an, it's not a hidden ability, so you can get this in the wild. What Own Tempo does is it prevents the Pokemon from being confused. Gaining the ability while confused removes it. This is a brilliant ability because Lilligant's main offensive move you'll be using is Pedal Dance. Now, Pedal Dance lasts two to three turns. Base power 120, and it confuses the um, confuses the user. Sorry, once it ends. So basically, it is a special grass type outrage. It is a very hard hitting move, and because you have own tempo, you will not get confused. So you can keep pedal dancing to your heart's content. So it's an amazing move. Lelegant has a, a pretty unique standing in Pokemon, where she's the only Pokemon that can learn all four dance type moves, and we'll go over each of those in a moment. So, to complement Pedal Dance, you give it Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance boosts your attack, special attack, special defense, and speed by one stage. If you've seen a Volcarona, you know exactly how this thing works. Every Volcarona under the sun, get it, sun, Volcarona, they all know Quiver Dance, and Lelegant can learn that as well. So, Quiver Dance boosts your defense and offense, this is why I said you can use Lilligan as a special wall if you really wanted to go ahead and do that. Um, and also raises your speed. So your base speed of 90 isn't the best, but after one Quiver Dance, you outspeed a lot of the meta, which is pretty damn awesome. And your Pedal Dance is going to be doing so much more damage, it's not even funny. Now, on, for, the, for the next move, I run Hidden Power. And because of my EV spread, if I can hit her, hit end power, because of my EV spread, it actually ended up being, so IV spread, oh my god, if I could English, that would be amazing. It ended up being Hidden Power Rock, which is an amazing Hidden Power. Um, really lucked out there. What, it, what this does is it allows you to deal with flying types, which will become an issue. Flying types and fire types are Lilligan's main weakness, or only two weaknesses really, other than ice. And all four of those, so uh, four? Can I count? No. All three of Lilligan's main weaknesses are weak to rock, so that is an amazing hidden power to have. If you can't get hidden power rock because of how hard it can be to uh, um, breed hidden power, the other things you can give it is Giga Drain. Giga Drain allows you, allows you to have some sustain when you're not using Pedal Dance. If you know that Pokemon will die to a Giga Drain, go for that instead of Pedal Dance to get some recovery back. Uh, other moves it can learn is Energy Ball, which is another hard hitting move which won't lock you into it. Um, what else can she learn? Let's have a quick look at what else she can learn. She can learn Leech Seed, Leech seed Nature Power, Screens. Um, can she learn Psychic? Nope. Going through what she learns, having a look at all the different moves. She can learn Dream Eater, which is very interesting. What Dream Eater does is it uh, is a base power 100 and you restore half of the damage dealt. It only works on Pokemon that are put asleep, but Litigant can learn Sleep Powder. As you can see there, she does learn Sleep Powder. So you can go for Sleep Powder and Dream Eater as another way of getting some recovery back. And it's pretty much, I think it's the only psychic move Litigant can learn, naturally at least. What else can she get? Um, just looking at this, trying to figure out what else she can get. Um, I think that might be it, honestly, uh, the moves you can get. So she's a very, very, very limited move pool. So we're going to give her Hidden Power Ground, which is a rather rock. Now, in the last slot, you can put anything you want. You can put Giga Drain, you can put an, a status move, you can put Protect. I go for Healing Wish. Healing Wish is an amazing move. What Healing Wish does is it, she, can, she can also heal, 
She can also learn Heal Bell, by the way, which removes status conditions, so you can use it as a status remover. But anyway, Healing Wish, an amazing move. It KOs the user, and the replacement is completely healed and has any status conditions removed. So if you know Litigant is not going to be useful in a battle, you can go for Healing Wish to heal someone else who will be useful but has been severely damaged. It is an amazing move. To go along with this, I always give her a Focus Sash, although I admit I did forget that she had Focus Sash in a battle I did recently. So this means you are guaranteed to get up at least one Quiver Dance, and then uh, you can go for the Pell Dances. All this also guarantees you'll get a Healing Wish off, because I can switch in on a, on a Charizard Y, and it will Flamethrower. I will live, and I'll get the Healing Wish off just fine. Now for the EV spread, we're going for a fast sweeper, fast special sweeper. So as you can see here, it actually did it all for me, and um, really good. obviously in game is level 100, so if we move it up to level 100, we should see that the stats are the same. Not exactly the same, because I'm, oh, actually no, it's completely different because this one's made a modest. We're not making a modest, we make mine uh, timid. So as you can see there, with a timid nature, we get a hundred, a 319 special attack, 305 special uh, speed, if I could English, amazing, uh, so but down at level 50, it's 162 special attack, 155 speed, that is pretty decent, and, and 145 HP, again, it's pretty decent for a, uh, a, a uh, attacker. So if we, uh, I think I put the last few EVs into HP, I think is what I did, uh, kind of hard to remember without having it on screen, uh, we can level 100 again, but you guys can basically see how the build will work. You can go Modest if you really want, because you do have the uh, Focus Sash, and what Modest does is it allows you to become stronger, and you're going to be faster when you get off a of Quiver Dance anyway. Now, if you wanted to build a tanky litigant, I'd probably go for the Special uh, Defense variant. So if we move all of our speed and go Max HP, Max Special Defense, Calm, 138 base special defense or base special defense once you're maxed out. That is kind of decent. That is kind of decent. Uh, once you start getting up quiver dances, you become a pretty hard to kill wall. You also get the Giga Drain, as I mentioned earlier, so you actually get a lot of sustain. You can set up quiver dances to boost your power, get Giga Drain for sustain, hidden power rock for um, coverage, and again, maybe keep the healing wish or replace it with sleep powder. It's up to you, really. Now, I don't really have any partners that it can work well with. Just kind of make sure the Pokemon she's within the party uh, resist the things she's weak to and make sure she resists the things that other Pokemon in the party are weak to. So, for example, if you have Lilligant in the party, I'd recommend having Pokemon that resist fire, ice, and flying. Uh, if you have uh, any Pokemon that are weak to um, weak to water or ground, you can stick Lilligant in the party. That is, um, you know, you can go ahead and do those. Now, this is actually the Lilligant I bred in Gen 5. I do have another version of my Lilligant, but that one was bred before Pokebank came out. Obviously, once Pokebank came out, I wanted to bring over all the old Pokemon that I bred and just use those instead. But yeah, so that is pretty much how I use my Lilligant. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoy Lilligant, if you want to see more from her, and if you enjoy the video, that would be, you know, yay. If you gave me a thumbs up, that made absolutely no sense, but you guys know what I'm saying. And if you, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you can go ahead and do that. We are coming up to the 1,800 mark, or the 1,800 mark for people who want to say it that way, which is, to me, weird, but apparently the way I say it is weird to people, so, yeah. That made absolutely no sense. This video is taking a bit long now, so I'll, I will end it there. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I wish you have a nice day, I guess. Yay!